Hey, Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to World of Warships in our Monday edition video. As traditional, we usually spend a Monday on a topic style video. And today we're going to talk about the best dollar you can spend in World of Warships. It might sound be too good to be true, but uh, until you give it a try, you might uh, quite enjoy that uh, purchase. It's not even a dollar, it's 99 cents. So. And this is also probably the first time I've ever featured a tier 2 battle on the YouTube channel. So yes, we are playing tier 2. Yes, it is mostly made up of bots on either team. Um, that is how things tend to go. There's not enough uh, players on the server in playing the low tier matches. I think with the Smith I have uh, 18 battles on random battles. But the Smith is a tier 2 American Destroyer. And one of its, I'd say the most fun gimmick about it, uh, if you can even call it a gimmick, is that the torpedoes reload, I think it's every 10 seconds, uh, you get uh, three torpedoes, uh, each reloading within 10 seconds. So if you go for a torpedo build, you can actually, with the commander, you can get a nine second reload time on your torpedoes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it's uh, a lot of fun, honestly. Um, you can do a lot of damage when you have ships pushing into you. And yes, we are in a division, and yes, maybe you're thinking we are still clubbing, which is partially true. But the main reason why we're playing this tier 2 battle is that we were playing for division stars. Um, and the division stars, if you're in a clan and not sure what those are about, Basically, you earn stars playing with your clan mates with getting certain rewards. So one was to get a win with a div mate. The other was to get the coordinated uh, attack, I believe it's called, coordinated strike, where you kill at least seven enemy ships. And then the other is to get shoulder to shoulder, which is like you cause damage, like 10, 20% damage to 10 of 12 enemy ships. So. We, we tried a tier two, uh, tier two, tier 10 battle before this, and I kid you not, there was five different super unicums on the enemy team, and uh, things did not go well, so we're like, you know, maybe we can actually do this uh, at tier two just to get those division stars. So, and I've been wanting to do this video for probably a few weeks now, and finally getting around uh, to it, so. Um, what makes the Smith quite fun, not only is her reload time, um, but it is also uh, the reload time of the main battery is actually really good at tier two. Usually it's a longer reload time for tier two destroyers, but with Smith, um, it's quite quickly. And you might be even noticing from the shell tracers uh, that I have red shell tracers, and that means I have Halsey mounted, if it's this battle that I'm thinking of. Uh, maybe it was in another battle I actually had Halsey mounted. I don't know, can't quite tell. We'll find out if we get Confederate or not. Uh, so we've gotten First Blood, now we get Devastating Strike, and then as we go past these cruisers, these uh, bots, uh, our torpedoes almost are ready to go back up again. So then we just keep sending the torpedoes in, and it's as simple as that. Now, <laughs> now there's the Strike team after picking up High Caliber. And some of you may be just rolling your eyes at the screen. But one of the things that I like about when you drop down to such low tiers, you get away from the, um, I don't know, I would say all the gimmicks um, at the higher tiers. It's nice to just only guns, torpedoes, um, smoke, engine boost. I think the Mikasa gets a heal. And it's just really straightforward playing. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice if there was more players that populated the lower tier servers, but there's a reason why most like to stay tier five and above. I'm not the typical YouTube World of Warships content creator in the sense that I'm always gonna stay maybe at higher tiers. I like to try to draw attention to all tiers, whether it be high tier, mid tier, or even the low tier um, here with Smith. So if you're thinking about picking or if you want to spend this uh, wonderful 99 cents or this dollar on the ship, I totally recommend it. Um, it's a lot of fun. If you look at this ship, it's also available in the armory, but it is... I just going to blind fire this guy. Um, it is also costs more if you purchase it for doubloons in the armory. So it's much cheaper to purchase on the main 
premium shop account. Uh, so do yourself a favor and pick up the ship there. So, um, and you can see there's a lot happening <laughs> in this battle uh, as we now get the coordinated attack after picking up the Kraken Unleashed. It's kind of a non-stop action. And perhaps you're even like, we're basically, there's the shoulder to shoulder, that's what we needed. Uh, you're thinking this is a co-op battle. I mean, pretty much it is because you only have four of uh, 12 uh, players or human. And I've done videos on co-op before. I've talked about co-op. Um, even drawing a little bit of criticism in the, for some of the videos I did on co-op, just because you have players who will diss co-op, um, but I know a good portion and some of you that follow the channel, you just like to play co-op just because there's no toxicity there with players in the game. Um, and again, I like to try to have this channel with all players in mind, whether you're a beginner, uh, you're a good player or maybe you're even more experienced. I just like to try to hit on all different types of aspects of the game um, to engage with you as the audience. So again, this is the best dollar in my opinion you can spend in World of Warships versus something like the uh, loot boxes or the gambling containers, uh, different things that Wargaming will do. Um, and I would say the ship is even funner than, you know, even, you know, if you spend a dollar for what, three days of premium or something like that, um, it doesn't compare. Smith is just a really fun destroyer, and I've heard good things about the Tachibana as well, but I don't know if it's for sale at a dollar. But we pick up 83,000 damage with 9 kills, as you see all the achievements listed across the stream screen there. So we did get the needed div stars. Uh, again, the way we were able to get around the system when you're trying to pick up those div stars is if you drop down to the low tiers, you can pick up those division stars and, you know, we're giving hints out these achievements even at the low tiers. So, yes, we're going to take advantage of that if you're going to stack five Super Unicum players against us in a randoms match with our Super Unicum player being the first to die at the start of the battle. <laughs> So yeah, so best all you can spend. If you haven't heard, we're having a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I believe we're over 970 subscribers now. So if you are enjoying the channel and you want to participate in that giveaway, make sure you're subscribed as I will do the giveaway shortly after we, we hit that 1,000 subscriber threshold as I appreciate uh, the interacting uh, with the community here and that I can hit on a lot of different topics within the game, even if you know something like playing to low tier or co-op is not your cup of tea per se. But again, I try to do this uh, channel uh, with multiple players in mind um, and just trying to give advice and uh, just general things that are good about the game. And that, one of those things being this tier two American Destroyer, the Smith. So if you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it and we'll catch you next time. Take care.